Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's your girl Anushka. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to do a quick review on this viral foot mask. It honestly changed my life, but I'm here to give you the pros and cons, you know, because I just feel like this is not just any type of product. I feel like you have to be a bit careful. Anyways, let's jump straight into it. So it all actually first started when I was seeing all these like ad videos on TikTok youtube and instagram like it was all everywhere so i went on and i went on amazon and i searched up the actual foot mask and all you have to do is type in peeling foot mask on amazon and it's literally the first one that comes it's uh it's by planty fake it's the foot peel mask i got the peach one you can get two for 13 pounds i actually started just with one so i don't have it with me right now okay the first thing is obviously it's super affordable i don't have like a pure before picture but i do have a picture of how my feet were looking whilst it was peeling so i'll show you guys that later in the video but overall my feet were super dry and the heel my toe and like the ball of your foot was it was like super dry like thick skin it was cracking and it looks so ugly like i'm sorry like i need baby soft feet okay hubby was like your feet are feeling like sandpaper right now and even if i put moisturizer it still looked really thick and cracked up anyways i was super skeptical i didn't know if this was going to work because i've tried all the techniques and to be honest i don't know if anyone else has this but whenever someone else touches my feet i get really bad heartburn so i don't really get ped pedicures that often so anyways i gave this foot mask a try all you have to do you get like these two foot gloves almost and you just put your foot inside you tie it up at your ankle with the tape that comes with it and then yeah there's just liquid in there and your feet sits in it it does say to leave it on for 19 minutes which is so long but yeah i just put them on put a pair of socks on and i just chilled for 90 minutes you then take him off honestly for a few days nothing really happens i was like oh my god this is not gonna work this is just meh oh well i gave it a go wait a minute <laughs> when i tell you your girl was peeling like a snake you know how like tarantulas have their whole coat come off them my foot was like this but it wasn't in one go like it was pieces flake like chunky pieces flaking off my foot it was so weird like i've it was like a whole thick ass layer of my foot was peeling off. When I tell you the peeling process is about two to three weeks, no joke. You want to make sure no one's going to see your feet in that time frame, okay? If you're going to go to PE and you need to take your socks off, girl, I pray for you. You're going to leave trails of dead skin behind you. It's a horror movie. Oh, trust me, it's so bad. But anyways, the, the, the foot mask was starting to work. It does say don't pick out the peeling. You have to soak your feet in warm water for at least 10 minutes a day, which to be honest, I didn't do it every day, but I did it like as much as I could. But trust me, it does work because it almost hurts a little bit if you try to peel it off yourself. But if you soak your feet and just rub your feet a little bit, it just comes off naturally. And it does actually help the skin peel off nicely. So definitely recommend the daily soaking for 10 minutes. I know it's so annoying, but it's going to speed up the peeling process because maybe that's why mine took like two to three weeks. But to be honest, I kept socks on most of the time because when I tell you big chunks of skin was falling off and it was like everywhere in the house, I had to do the hoover all the time. I just kept socks on the whole time. It's, it does also say do not use moisturizer. You just have to keep them completely dry, which is so disgusting because it just feels like I have reptile feet. Ooh so cringe okay look away now if you don't like feet but here's a picture of my feet peeling and it i was shook it looks like a horror movie but you can really see if you look at my heel how thick the skin was and how it was like cracky and you could see like the the the, the foot mask was really getting all of that out it was so it was satisfying but i was so cringe at the same time anyways two to three weeks later um my feet are mostly like peeled off and like brand new now they're like brand new they're like baby soft <sighs> guys when i tell you i have babies i'm like going to hobby i'm like feel my feet feel my feet they feel so nice my feet now look like this i'm just going to show you my heel because i don't want to put my whole feet up in the internet okay and for free as well and people pay money for that i'm joking <laughs> no i'm not going to put my whole feet on the internet because yeah I have very peculiar feet and I just feel like it's too much. It's too much. But anyways, you can tell from my heel, like it's completely brand new. There aren't any cracks. It's super soft. There are a few areas here and there where there's just ever so slight peeling that's left to be done. But overall, this foot mask is so damn good. But to be honest, I'm here to tell you the pros and the cons. The pros are it's super affordable super easy to use easily accessible because it's on amazon you can get it the next day and i think the major one is that it works it works like it does its job there are two major cons for me 
This foot mask is literally taking a layer of your skin off. I don't know how thick, but when I was peeling the skin off under my feet, it was kind of like a thick layer of skin. It's taking a whole layer of skin off. And underneath that dead skin is rejuvenated, brand new, baby, soft skin. So when you're gonna wear your usual shoes, like boots, like especially my work shoes, where they're comfortable, but on the balls of my feet, they're hard. And like, I've worn into them, but if I were to change anything, like they would hurt, you know? You can easily get blisters from your feet rubbing in your shoes if you're not careful. So I was doubling up on socks. I did also see some reviews where people were saying like they got massive blisters because they were using their usual boots, but because the skin is so new and soft, it was like rubbing and then the rubbing just easily gave blisters. So definitely double up, triple up on your socks, I don't care, but protect your feet because they're brand new, they're baby soft, and to be honest, your feet are supposed to be rough and be able to bear your weight. I mean, we don't go walking around barefoot in the streets, so we all want baby soft feet these days, and yeah, you're just gonna have to protect your feet. So that's definitely one of the major downsides. Even when I was walking, I could feel like my feet were a little bit irritated from just the natural rubbing of your feet when you're walking. So yeah, now I just double up on socks. And then the second one is the glove on your foot goes all over the foot. So not un just underneath your foot, but on top. And the skin was peeling on top. I didn't really need my skin to peel on top. Like my skin on top was fine, but it was peeling all over there. And that is what took the longest to come off. And it was so annoying. Cause I just felt like I just wanted my under bit to be rejuvenated, not the top. So that was another downside to me. And that's what's taking the longest to come off. But overall guys, I'm looking on Amazon right now. It's got 28.8K reviews. It's like a 4.5 stars. 3000 people have bought this in the last month. Like, and it's only got really good reviews. I don't know why I waited so long. It does say you can use this like every other month or so. I can't remember. I would not use this again in like another six months until I see my my skin has thickened up and cracks again. I just feel like the more you're using it, the more you're taking your skin off. Like you just have to be careful. I don't, I wouldn't, personally I'm no dermatologist, but I wouldn't recommend this every month or so. I will use this twice a year, max. Unless you have really, really like thick cracked skin, then you'll probably need more masks or more like sessions. You just have to do it more times. Just be careful because your feet can get really sensitive after. We don't, we're so ungrateful for our feet, you know. They carry our weight all day, every day. We walk around in them. These poor feet, man. And then you're gonna remove their protective barrier and expose brand new baby soft skin underneath. Like, you just have to be a little bit careful. That's all I would say. But overall, like this is, a, this pro was a 10-10. You know what, I'll give it a nine out of 10 because of the cons, just have to be careful. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting everyone on this. I was actually speaking to a friend and like, if she's watching this video, she's gonna crack up. But she, I laughed so much because she tried it on her husband and he started freaking out like, what the hell's going on? She was telling me like, he was freaking out. He's like, my feet, my feet, like you've burnt my skin, skin's peeling. It all turned out okay in the end. I mean, the initial stages is very scary, but just, Hold out and also do a patch test. Please do a patch test. Please don't burn all your feet. I think when it comes to products like this, be careful and do a patch test. It does say on the instruction, like just rub some of the liquid on your, somewhere on your feet and then leave it for a day. And then if it's okay, then go and use the product. Anyways, that's enough of me rambling. I feel like I needed to dedicate a video to this because it's just the most amazing discovery I've made so far. I'll link it below if you guys wanna try it out. Let me know how it goes out for you. Please be careful, I'm telling you right now. It's definitely a process, so bear that in mind. Yeah, DM me your before and after pictures if you don't mind sharing your feet pictures. I don't mind. I just don't wanna share mine. mine are, I've got weird wonky ass toes. Like my feet are like this, like they, I swear I have a condition. I've already said this before. That is all for me. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know if you want more of these quick kind of reviews, but this one just needed its own because it's just, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like. Comment your thoughts below and I will see you in my next video.